So today we have come to REI to interact with a lot of solar module manufacturer, a lot of solar companies who have come here to flaunt their new designs, their new innovation. And right now we are joined by Mr. Anurag, who is the CEO of Jackson Solar. So first of all, thanks a lot for joining in this conversation with Solar Energy Thank Magazine. You, first question that uh, after the reimposition of ALMM, I think uh, it has brought a lot of good news for the solar model, man, man, solar model manufacturers in India. So, how exactly it changed the game in India, especially for the solar model manufacturers? So, I think the the large intent of ALMM was to add capacity, local manufacturing, and become self-reliant. I would say, uh, although it is not yet complete, because we are largely assembling the modules and bringing components from outside India. So, the next possibly that. Uh, what government is trying to do is how to add more capacity for the components in India also. Yeah, but to start with, I think, yes, this uh, helped in a way because today, as you must have seen, the latest ALMM which has been released from uh, today, from in 10 13 years, we are almost like 54 gigawatt of manufacturing in India, which is a big, big, you know, uh, uh, uphill uh, investment which has been done by the industry. So it is not only creating uh, availability of the modules in India, but also creating a lot of employment for the people in different parts of the country. Because the good part of solar module manufacturing is that people are not concentrating this industry in one part of the country. Although we know that large part of concentration is in West, largely Gujarat, but even then, a lot of investments of solar manufacturing are now coming in UP, in Rajasthan, in MP. So basically, because the solar panel, uh, every cost matters. So when you put a project, you need to be more closer to the site and project because you want to reduce your transportation cost. So that way, I think this industry which is being created is helping a lot of employment, not only in one particular geography, but across the country. That is the beauty of, uh, I would say, the solar manufacturing capacity which is being added. So now we see that a lot of solar model manufacturers are expanding their capacity and announcing new plans to launch new innovations like Topcon or in Topcon in DCR. So how Jackson has handled this? Are you also planning to expand? What is your plan now? So I think uh, uh, recently we just made an announcement in the press that we are already 1.2 gigawatt of model manufacturing and basis the demand from the you know, market and the customers not to be in the just rat race of adding capacity we see very good uh, timing to add more capacity of about 800 megawatt immediately for module manufacturing so we'll be ready with this capacity by april 25 or maybe one or month here plus minus so that we are two gigawatt of module manufacturing in the same location and also we are already announced investment of 2.5 gigawatt of cell manufacturing because there is a focus around government to DCR what we say to add more and more emphasis to use solar panels with solar uh, locally produced cells. So as a result we have also participated and thought this is the right time to help in that initiative of government of India and we have announced this investment of 2.5 gigawatt of solar cells. So in the last two years, we have seen the prices, Chinese prices of solar cells, the solar manufacturer modules have come down. So how is impacted the Indian solar module manufacturers? Do you think the current year was the best time for solar module manufacturers in India? I think uh, when it comes to China, uh, when you have said China, see, today the world is aware what China is doing. And the cost which China has achieved is not necessarily the actual cost. Because recently, if you follow the industry, or most of the big Chinese manufacturers have reported losses. So we are not very sure what they are selling. Is it because of excess capacity or is it the real cost? So possibly when you, this is the you know, kind of, uh, when you have this kind of a demand supply gap, where supply is more than demand, it is obvious that people will sell below cost. But that's not the idea, we are into it. Although from the customer perspective, it is very good if you are getting a product at that cost, but whether that cost is sustainable is a question mark. But yes, it is benefiting the module manufacturing in India also because it is not only that the cost of solar panel has gone down, but even components have gone down. So that way, you know, Indian module manufacturing industry is benefiting from that low cost and is able to give a reasonable, decent price 
to Indian customers or developers. Uh, do you think there, there is still some gap? There is something else that the government can do for the solar module manufacturing? Oh yes, for sure. So I think uh, recently, you know, just three days or four days back, government has introduced anti-dumping on these solar fr aluminium frames also to basically promote the aluminium frame manufacturing in India. And it's a very good move, although it will be not appreciated by the customers because it will add to the cost at the cost at the cost of developing it locally. But I think it's a long term support which government is trying to give to the industry so that we create more manufacturing in India. And aluminium frame manufacturing for me is also not a very big deal, not a very complicated manufacturing. So we should be manufacturing in India. So it's a possibly a temporary support to bring people on board into aluminium frame manufacturing and that's it. The secondly, we must we are hearing that government is thinking of even bringing the ALMM series 2 which is the ALCM uh, in the near future basically to say that all the modules which are going to be used in India will be having to use solar cells made in India. So that is something which is again like because of ALMM solar module has got ramped up like this so fast. I'm sure with this kind of policy solar cell will also get ramped up very fast. So if you have captured almost 60-70% of this local manufacturing in India, I'm sure government will bring similar incentives for other components which are left. So what you are showcasing at the current REI? Pardon? What you are showcasing yeah, your products? So, uh, from the Jackson Solar perspective, we are showcasing our module range which is for Monopark and Topcon. And as we, you know, we have launched our uh, rectangular cell module which is the highest power uh, announced and launched by us in, in REI and I think nobody has yet launched this rating in India while it is available globally. So we are very proud to say that this is going to help our customers reduce their cost because it is the same power, more power in the same size of square feet. So more uh, dense power I would say, you require less land, you require less uh, BOS uh, for your investments. Last question, a lot of people, Premium Energy recently released this IPO, a lot of other solar companies are also doing that. Are you also planning to move towards stock exchange? No plans yet, but I cannot rule it out. Thanks, sir. Thanks a lot.